a f m t v sports channel。Его активы семь побед, ни одного поражения. Его силу данная техника. Дамы и господа, из Новгорода Кыргызстан, фото Шуре Тешатаев. Его замерли красным лукреди. Бойцу 22 года, рост 170 сантиметров, вес 76 и 30 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд точно такой же, как у соперника. Семь побед ни одного поражения. И Василий ушел сюда. Он из Красного Россия. Так же не стоящий поражений. Аска Сулхая. Ребята, это Санислав Новицкий. So we look at the tail of the tape for this featherweight contest. Tesha Boev, seven years the older, with a 10 centimeter and height and reach advantage. Zulayev in the red corner, Tesha Boev in the blue. And look at the height of Tesha Boev at featherweight, Brad. It's amazing that he makes this weight. Uh, indeed, I was so surprised that he's moved down the weight, find that lightweight, so tall. But if you go by body stance, he's kind of, he does have a very small waist and quite skinny legs. Oof. Low calf kick there, met by a straight right hand from Tesha Boev. Yeah, for me, Tesha Boev definitely is going to want to keep this on the feet, try and keep his range. Ooh. Nice body kick though from Zulayev. Another one, set, cut. Targeting that midsection, a little <laughs> smile and a touch of gloves. Yeah, both appreciated each other's skill set. I mean, this is a fight as well. There's, there's nothing but respect between these two. No bad blood. Oh, good clinch work here from Tesha Bowen. Yeah. Watch for a kick on the break here. Oh, oh. That's, to be fair, well, one in one. Both of them fighting with the hands being low. And Tesha Bowen, good little solid low kick then. Oh, and again, coming up the middle there with those kicks. Zulayev. And what a time for these two to meet. Both seven fights into their professional career, both undefeated. Both have proven themselves already on the ACA uh, platform. That's why they're both on the main card, right? Oh, nice combination there, Brad. The overhand right from Zulayev. A little way off, but certainly a warning shot. You always say that the shorter fight of that overhand right, especially against that orthodox stance. One of the danger shots. Yeah, it, 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 indeed, Brian. But then, I mean, like, you, you just see the boat. They're both very technical with their strikes. Thinking about every combination they're throwing. There's that low kick. He's been a few times. It's You've got to respect that as well, though, Brad. You can't just take a cup and think I can handle that. Or you just throw one back like you <laughs> just did. <laughs> nice. Came in behind the calf there. Of Tesha Boev. This is the thing for me. For me, Tesha Boev, he, he's superior within the striking for himself. This is where he excels. Oh, that's a beautiful. You heard that there. That was the shin right into the liver there. Zulayev ate it well. Zulayev, yeah, did eat it well. But this is where he wants to be. I was about to say that, Brian. This is where I feel Zulayev could take the fight if he can't get it down and make it a bit grimy. This is where he's set up the camera, he's giving up his neck oh, a little bit. Bowe, yeah, he, he will go for this, he's got these long arms. Early in the fight as well, three minutes in. But Zulayev driving hard. Yeah, Zulayev has got to make sure that his right leg, that Tesha Bowe's right leg doesn't come up round. Thing is getting high pressure, he's got to oh. make sure he doesn't close the guard. Isn't he? Yes. Oh, he's out, he's yeah. out. Great work, and what appreciation from the crowd here in Moscow. And now Zulayev top position, 1 minute 45 seconds, Brad. This is what Zulayev needed to do. He needed to make it a little bit more dirty, a bit more grimy. And now he crosses, eases into mount. Oh, This is the thing, is where you've got to be clever as a fighter. Sometimes, even though you do have good striking, and never goes with good striking, if you believe you're better in a different area, let's take him there. And, he, and obviously this is Zulayev, he's showing some holes in Tesha Bob's game. Really has worked at the back very well. That slice through the guard was beautiful. 
Oh, a little elbow on the side of the head there, Brad. Steps over and sets the hook. Beautiful stuff here from Zulayev. You can just see, I mean, it's just like, it's kind of closely contested along the oh. feet. No, almost a reversal, but back to his feet, Aliz Teshaboev. It's a frantic first round, Brian. Fantastic first round with 45 seconds still left to enjoy. Now they are back to the center of the cage. They've tested each other on the feet. They've tested each other in the grappling already in round number one. Good leg kick there. Let's see if Tesha Boev goes back to that midsection. You can see Zulayev was covering that side when he was, he was almost leaning to protect that liver. Got to be careful though, because Teshabov can cut. Oh, 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 oh Matador-esque. Good little Granby roll trying to get out of that. Still ends up in side control here at the end of round number one. But these two really living up to the hype, showing us exactly why they are top prospects in this featherweight division, exactly why they're undefeated, Brad. Fantastic first round here for us to witness here live at ACA 110 in Moscow. I'm not going to ask you to score that, but there was good moments for both fighters in that. On the feet, we saw Tesha Bowen, some good significant strikes. The clinch looked very strong for him as well. The midsection body kick and then across the cage to Zulayev, the grappling really was some excellent transitions. And Tesha Bowen did well not to give up a uh, uh, to give up his back fully during that uh, scramble. Yeah, Teshibov st st stood out to me more within the striking realm. Um, wasn't saying, wasn't saying that um, Zulai ever was out of it at all on the feet, but it. Uh, <laughs> Round number two underway. Oh. <laughs> nice low kick there from Zulayev. We kick off round number two. Tesha Boev in the blue corner. Zulayev in the oh, red. Oh, the overhand right. right. That was excellently timed. You're right. And now look at how he passes to mount. Tesha Oh, scramble is on now. Tesha Boev ends up on top. Good instincts. Good by both fighters, not really wanting to settle for being in a bad position. Oh, nice knees as well. The overhand right led to the scramble on the floor. Looked like Zulayev was going to slice into mount again, but Tesha Boev not giving that up. Back to their feet and another beautiful right hand from Zulayev. Well, well, it seemed like he's giving up mount position a little bit easy sometimes but some people I've been a test bad bad when I when I was younger I had a good mountain escape so I used to let people mount me to try and get out I good <laughs> hips. It looks like he's doing the same it's exactly the he's same bridge and rolling bridge and rolling he's got hold of that head as well he's trying to take that over it's Ulyev this time bases properly look at that yeah he, he did what he didn't want to do is commit too much like he did before with the mount you can see him going again loud but every time he goes around it's, it's you see the Tisha Bove is trapping the one arm and trying to use the momentum of him getting mount to roll him. And now you see that Zulayev is getting a little bit more aware of what he's doing. Knee on belly as well for Zulayev, just trying to control that midsection. This time though, now he takes the back, sets those hooks quickly. The Tesh, exactly the same escape, Brad. Yeah, he, is, he just has those sort of good hips. And he kind of, oh, he fell, oh off. he fell off, he was high on that. And you look at Tesha Bob, finished all seven of his fights, and five of them by submission, so he's got triangles, guillotines, rear naked chokes, even a scarf hold in there, so. Maybe he is, sets it a little trap. They try and roll again. Yeah, you see that. Zulai are less keen on completing the full mount now, Brad. Yeah, he's very aware of the bridge and roll. The curve open up as well, I think, beloved the it's left on. eye of Teshubov. Yes, yeah, just on that left eyebrow. Yeah. Again, now let's see if he goes for the same escape. Oh, the lessons have been learned, though. Now Zulayev 
keeping that body lock, keeping that connection, but not switching his momentum to the other side. He's doing what I say, where he's, he's surfing him, he just make sure he's staying loose, but on top. A lot of transitions within this ground battle here. And again, he's going for this. Almost looks like a, a setup for something, but now, what a reaction from Zulaya. He just wanna, he just has, you see he has very good hips, and also what's happening in the Oh, zoo. head and arm, Brad's head and arm oh. set up here. You see, yeah, again, it's those hips. He's wow. Like brilliant turning hips where he could just turn and use them, and what's happening with Zulev is not really controlling his hips. He's good. It was all upper body, but like there, even with the choke, it's all upper body, and letting let him be able to use his hips to turn. And there's desperation in the corner there of Teshiboev, but he has the back of Zulayev. Oh! The way that he's doing, Teshiboev is just like, has very like, he wants He wants this almost. Yeah, it's He crazy. sets this up for the scarf. I think he sets this up for the scarf. No, Zulayev rolls with it. As now, I'm joking with a few people who do some like really strange things that you wouldn't think is very conventional. Uh, there's a guy called uh, Charles Rosso who used to let people get him in the hell and arm because he could defend it really well. And he used to say he used to fake and pretend he was getting choked out to make them squeeze more and tire themselves out. <laughs> you know, like some people do some strange things, and that's what he's doing. He's like, it seems like he's giving up bad positions, and you think he's done, but no, then he just like explodes out. So if we have a spa, Brad, there. Uh, I'll let you hit me in the head just to tie your arms out, okay? Okay, that's, that, that's good. <laughs> also, another one, uh, uh, Masvidal, when I used to roll with Masvidal, he has a really good head and arm uh, triangle shape. And Elite, again, he's another person who would let you put him in. You can start in a full-on head and arm triangle, you just seem to be not you know, how to get out. Okay, round number two coming to an end. What a different round this has been. Really has been about the scrambles, the transitions about the escapes of Tesha Boa, even that, even some that. weird positions, I mean like, he's very unconventional grand thing. But when you, when you step into the sport of mixed martial arts, you find out things about yourself. You might find that you, you take naturally to striking or to jujitsu. You also have to t find that how you fight with your, just with your physicality. And he is so long and so, like you talked about his thin hips. He's found a way to make that a weapon in there almost. Yeah, yeah I mean, he has very good, what, weirdly to say as well, what I call wrestling hips is where he just arches back up and just twists his lower spine part looks of his like body. It's, yeah, absolutely. Now there's the overhand right to start off, and this led to the first scramble of the second round. And you see here, he, he probably do at some point here where he just good at getting. Well, he didn't even see any of it then, but he's good. He, if he's not, his bottom half of his legs are not being controlled. He has a very good, like what I call cat-like soy hips, where he just he, he can contort his sort of spine and just get to his knees and just turn and use that sort of power. But what he's doing, he's using as like a, have a headlock position as well. <laughs> Makes it a very interesting fight. Great respect between these two. All on the line here at ACA 110. Zulayev, red corner, Tesha Boev in the blue. Oof. Really? Oh! The jump knee attempt from Tesha Bowen timed the overhand right from Zulayev. And it's all over, Brian. That was a beautifully timed overhand right. We were asking the question, stepping into round number three. How do you take charge of this fight? What do you have to do? The answer was there. Zulayev met the jump knee with the overhand right. What a finish. What a performance. And what a knockout. Zulayev moves to 8 0. And what a scalp, not just to beat, it's an, a, an unbeaten prospect to finish him in that sort of highlight reel finish here, Brian, was just absolutely mind blowing. That's the highlight of tonight for me. Wow, and you can see he's still rocked, taking treatment yeah. now. He's on wobbly legs, Brian. And that means, I mean, we'll take a look again. He jumps, isn't he? Boom! Right on the chin. He's, he's out before he hits the floor. Oh, no no follow-up needed. Beautiful, beautiful performance there by Zulayev. ACA, you have an absolute superstar in the making.
doctors are making sure that Tesha Bob's okay, having words of him. Yeah, bringing the fires into the middle. Tesha Bob is okay to go there. Let's make this one official. <laughs> Одержал победу нокаутом и остается нестающим поражений Аска Суфаев! Грозный Россия!